In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, the Word was God, the Word was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, and without Him nothing was made that has been made, and Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness did not recognize it. The light shines through the darkness, but the darkness didn't even notice. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Even in his own land and among his own people, he wasn't wanted. But to those who believed him, to those who believed in his name, to those who believed he was how he claimed and would do what he said, he gave the right to become children of God. And we have seen his glory, the glory that a one and only son can only receive from his father, full of grace and truth. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. The word became human and lived here on earth among us. And having become human, he stayed human. He humbled himself. He didn't accept any special privileges. He lived a selfless, obedient life to die a selfless, obedient life death and the worst kind of death at that crucifixion but it was our sins that did that to him he was bruised and wounded for everything that we've done wrong he was wounded for our transgressions pierced for our iniquities he did all this just so we could be whole and God exalted him to the highest place gave him the name that is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee would bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth every tongue confess that Jesus is the master of all this is the resurrection that the son came and gave his life that he extended an invitation to know the God of all creation that he offered us love when we knew no peace that he offered us relationship when all we knew how to do was keep and break a bunch of rules this is the resurrection that in his death we have come to know life that we can freely offer our life to him.